This is Lead Mine Climb at Inalethan Cross Country. And I, yeah, and I failed the first bit of it. Ha <laughs> ha. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna talk as if this is the beginning of the trail because I don't know how much I've changed. Uh, basically, Lead Mine Climb, Clattering Path and Minchmore Climb and the start of Enduro Track are all unfilmed currently. This is me filming them right now, and I've refilmed the entirety of the cross country up to this point, or as well, uh, on the off chance that I might need to update some of the older videos. I don't know if I'm going to update any or not. So, I don't know if this is going to be the first video of the day that's going online or not. So, <clears throat> apologies if you have watched ones I've refilmed today, and I'm repeating stuff I already said. But yeah, tough. <laughs> uh, we're looking at starting the Kickstarter soonish, because uh, funding is now a priority. Uh, I'm starting to get quite. I'm starting to get some views on YouTube. If you're watching, thanks for watching. Uh, the problem with YouTube at the moment is their current status, I guess. Uh, their current uh, popularity thing. Uh, if you've got no interest in. Uh, calculations and stuff like that then ignore this part of the video uh, I don't really understand that much but I'll have a shot at explaining what I do know YouTube used to run it so that if you had tags in your video say you were watching well say you're watching a Glen Trust video uh, Spooky Wood watching Spooky Wood video YouTube will go, right, okay, uh, let's have a look at other videos that people are watching with the same tags in it or similar tags. So you'd get Spooky Wood, other Glen Trust videos. So it'd be relevant. What YouTube's new thing does apparently <coughs> is it ignores that and it just looks at trending. Uh, the reason being advertising. If people have got ad revenue selected for their videos, YouTube make money every time someone watches a video that's set up for ads. So they'd rather videos with millions of views or a larger amount of views, more popular videos anyway, were the ones that got seen by more people. So the more popular a video is, the more likely it is to show up on your relevant videos because there's more money in it. In theory that's okay because websites need money to survive. On the downside it means that people who are starting out new who have relevant videos but don't have the large amount of viewers are losing out because their videos aren't showing up anymore, or they're less likely to show up. Wow, there's a cottage over there. Wild. So, the thing is, if you watch people regularly, if you've got people you're subscribed to, or whatever, if you like their videos, click like, click favorite, whatever. The more likes and views a video has, the more likely it is to show up on other people's other people's inboxes. <clears throat> that might seem mercenary to go, yeah, click this or else, but unfortunately the new setup means that without likes and without favorites, subscribers or whatever, videos are just gonna get lost. They're never gonna be seen, which is why you'll see a lot of people now I mean, people did before, but you see a lot of people finishing their videos with please like, favorite, and subscribe because those are now essential. 
So when I say if you're watching this video and you want to see it continue, please like, favorite and subscribe. It helps, it really does. Uh, it means that any ad revenue that comes via watching videos will go No, that's wrong. So yeah, subscribe and I'll get money. Technically that's a good thing because money means more trails. If I've got money coming in, I can actually afford to do other trails, film them and get them online. Uh, though using YouTube isn't the best way. So unless you've got millions of subscribers and millions of people viewing each video, the, the ad streams aren't much. I mean, just for, just for reference, uh, I believe that the average, <coughs> the average earnings per about a thousand views on a channel with ads is somewhere between five cents and five dollars for a thousand. That's not fantastic. Uh, is someone coming up behind me? That's logs. Uh, that gets worse when you add in. That's still quite a long way up, isn't it? That's where we're going up there, Minchmore. And the wind's kind of picking up again. Oh. Hey. No, it's not fantastic the amount you earn from videos. And that number goes down a lot because it depends on adverts viewed and adverts clicked. There's two different types of adverts that you'll get on YouTube. There's the little ones that pop up at the bottom of a video, which everyone presses the X or does not see, because they've got ad block and stuff like that on. Uh, those ones only count as a paid click or a paid payment to the channel's, the video's owner, if someone clicks on it. So you pay per click. Now the other one is the little short videos that show up at the beginning of videos. Car advert, stuff like that. If the viewer skips it, I think after five seconds or so you can normally skip these videos. If the viewer skips it, zero earnings. If the viewer watches it to the end, that counts as a click. They don't need to actually click anything, they just need to watch. Now. Unfortunately, the video, the, the adverts that you get on YouTube tend to be the same ones over and over again. But the best way to support YouTubers that you like is to watch them or to click on them if it's relevant. Because that is how people well, make a living on YouTube, really. That's how it works. Or that's how it works now. Uh, and just. It's the, it's the 1st of October at the moment and going by my current, well, the current analytics that I looked at this morning I've got 174 videos online I think now uh, Total views are sitting about 1,500 I think for the lifetime of the channel and the current earnings are 17 cents. <laughs> so that's about a cent per video at the moment. No, a cent per 10 videos. Not good. Though that's to be expected because I only have six subscribers, which puzzles me because I think I'm actually counted as one of my own subscribers, which is weird. If you look at the subscriber list, it's only five people. So I assume YouTube counts the owner as a subscriber, which is kind of weird, but I've got technically six, six, technically five at the moment, so that is no wonder that it's low earnings. And I'm not really expecting people to go, oh, quick click all these, make him richer, anything like that. I mean, it'd be nice if you did, but it's the real world and world, it's the real world and that doesn't happen. Uh, and. I feel kind of weird saying to people, yeah, make me rich by clicking adverts. Please don't, please don't. As I said earlier, if you want to support people on YouTube, like them, like, like their videos. More likes means more views. 
more views means more people get to see the videos. Simple. Uh, in theory, we should have the lead uh, clashing path somewhere. This is probably going to end up as one of those trails where lead mine and clattering path merge into one. Now it's starting to rain. Hey, it's going to be interesting for the uh, camera. Luckily, I have got it sealed, but I've got a microphone on it, so it's got an opening on the side. So, as long as it doesn't rain too hard, it should be okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Back to the beginning, Kickstarters. Trail dog needs money to keep going. Uh, it's as simple as that. It's petrol to get the uh, trails, parking, uh, especially places like uh, Koji Brennan. That's a five day job there. I've, I've looked it up, worked it out. It's about five days worth of filming there. And the rain's getting harder. About five days worth of filming at Koji Brennan. If you think about it in these manners, this, this, this way, uh, fuel there and back, so I'm in southern Scotland, fuel there and back is looking at probably about 60, 60 maybe 70 quid. Uh, then you're bound to have parking charges, it's going to be at least two, three pounds a day. Uh, and then even if you went for the cheap option of a tent campsite, eight to ten pounds a night so a full week's worth of or a full film of Coach of Brendan in one go would probably cost if you're frugal 150 but then you got to add in things like food you need to eat I need to eat because a fat B I don't know slightly diabetic maybe I <laughs> get the shakes so it's not a cheap thing to do. And on my current wages, well, for one, that's a full week's worth of uh, holiday, which I can't really afford to take very often. Uh, 30 days holiday a year. That works out at, uh, yeah, not very many trail centers with overnight stops uh, possible. <coughs> the other option, of course, is as simple as going and uh, doing one at a time, going back, and so on. Which is what I've kind of done with uh, Plan Degler. I've got the red and black in the can there, but blue and a couple of other black sections of the free ride skills areas and stuff were missed because we couldn't do it in a day. So that means I've got to go back there again. And it's about a 500 mile round trip for me. Five, 530, 530 mile round trip to get there and back. So it's, it's expensive. Uh, do that twice, over a hundred pounds, 120. Yeah, I reckon about 140 to film it twice. <sighs> Not good. <laughs> So, Kickstarter is the way forward. Uh, get people behind us. We're getting more people watching the videos now. Uh, and the highest watched one was uh, a short one I did, Trail Obstruction from Never Strange, where I got uh, held up on the red cross country downhill by a bird, as you do. Uh, but the main reason for that, having, I think it's about 580 odd views at the moment. The main reason for that is because it was retreated, retweeted by Never Strange themselves. So they let us tap into their huge user base, really. Uh, it's helped as well, by the way. They, uh, they randomly retweeted one of the other trails that I rode there, which was nice of them. So Never Strange, thank you. You've helped. You actually have really helped. It's, I think the majority of the earnings so far have come from your videos, this looks really dark in here. Anyway, as I've been talking, please like, favorite, subscribe. Keep us going. <laughs>